this is the performing songwriter and my name is Ray Naylor. My guest today is Matthew Gordon. Matthew is a songwriter and a multi-instrumentalist. In addition to being a solo artist, Matthew has played with a number of groups, including the current group, The Barn of Swallows. I'll be back to talk to my guest, but now we're going to have uh, Matthew Gordon sing one of his original songs. A song about that eternal question of, uh, is your love true? If I stumble, if I fall, if I slide into the creek If I trip along the train track with these shackles on my feet Would you pick me from the sticker bush if I'm covered all in mud? Would you help me pull out all the thorns and wipe off all this blood? I need to know, is your love true? Would you help me find my way back if I lost my way from you? I'm all alone Running out of time I need to know if you're still out there And if I'm Still ever on your mind When the dark clouds roll on in All heavy with rain When the winds begin to whip And all the troubles in my brain Will you listen to my story? Will you hear the tale I tell? Through all the pounding thunder And the ringing of the love true would you help me find my way back if i lost my way from you i'm all alone and i'm running out of time i need to know if you're still out there and if i'm still ever on your mind well my clothes are soaked right to the bone and i'm shivering inside i don't know where i'm going i got no place left to hide Track with these shackles on my feet Would you pick me from the sticker bush If I'm covered all in mud Would you help me pull out all the thorns And wipe off all this blood I need to know Is your love true Would you help me find my way back If I lost my way from you I'm all alone And I'm running out of time I need to know if you're still out there Matthew. Hi, Ray. How you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. Hey, thank you very much for coming on. Oh, thanks for having me. It's a great thing that you're doing. I now, that song it. you just sang is called, if, what is it, If I Stumble, oh, If I Stumble, If I Fall. If I Stumble, If I Fall, correct. Now, I was hearing like fiddles and stuff in there. Have you, have, have you performed that? Yes, uh, we recorded that with uh, multiple fiddles, a fiddle, a cello, bass, uh, harmonica. Yeah, it's, it's been a full production, thanks to uh, Ernie Tokay in the Little mm -hmm. Spider Studio. And uh, Michael Ronstadt, Michael Salzberg, Ron uh, Greenstein were, were helping me with it. Cool. And Sarah Napolitan sang on it. Yeah, that, that uh, 
that song, you can just hear those instruments, even though you're just you and the guitar, I think. Oh, good, thanks. Um, you've played a lot of genres. Um, has that changed over time? Uh, how would you describe your current music? Yes, of... it's changed a lot over time. I, I think in the uh, in the early '80s, I was in a like kind of a punk rock band, and then a kind of a, just a straight ahead rock band when I lived in D.C. Uh, uh, I've played in a band called the Friday Project, Siege Party. I was in a I moved more towards folk music. I've always been aligned with folk music. I've played with Preston Harrison's Raggedy Band and the Born Swallows, of course. So yeah, it's been it's been evolving. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, I like I mainly like acoustic music. I, I have played electric guitar when uh, when asked, and it's and I have fun with that. But uh, mainly uh, for the last probably 20 years, I've been focusing on acoustic. And and uh, in terms of your songwriting, that that tends to evolve with people. Uh, has have how has your songwriting evolved over time? Hmm, that's a great question. I, I I think I've paid a lot more attention to how the the craft of songwriting. I and I think you know this songwriting is really an interesting thing because you know when poetry, uh, you know, is, is one way to express oneself and and but it doesn't really uh, always sustain attention. Mm -hmm. And instrumental music also is great, but it doesn't always sustain attention. And somehow when you mix poetry and instrumentation and create a song, uh, it's, it's an amazing thing, it's a powerful thing. Uh, it's been that way since, you know, all through history, the great ancient Greeks, uh, Jewish prayers were always sung, and that's how people memorize them. It just, it's a great way to, to connect with people. And so I've kind of, you know, really thought about that a lot in, in my songwriting and tried to not only uh, connect with people, but also express, you know, things that are on my mind and also try to entertain and if you can hit all three of those entertainment and communication and uh, expressing one's own you know things that you need to express I mean that's that's a very powerful thing and, and a way to communicate with people and and let them feel they're not alone sometimes and that's 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 uh, that's what I go for you know that's what I try to do and when I come close I, it feels very good well I, I'm glad you said that because this show is about that it's not just about singing a song it's about performing the song and, and how to get that over, how to touch the audience. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think if more singer-songwriters would pay more attention to the presentation of their material, mm -hmm. they would, they'd do a lot better. Sure, yeah, P performing, you know, a lot of people just write songs and that's great and they, and they have them per performed by, you know, people that are phenomenal, John, you know, Johnny Cash or whoever, you know, that, that they, they would write a song and somebody like that would record it and, then, and they may not perform their own songs. Some people form, perform their own songs and they're the only ones that perform their own songs. And it's very tricky, especially in the folk music world, you, you know, you're not a dance band, you're not, <laughs> you're not uh, entertaining people that way, yeah, that, that, right. that they're living their, you know, lives and you're, you're entertaining them in a way that, that's connecting with them emotionally and it's tricky to, to do that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a charisma challenged, shall we say. I, I don't have a great pattern necessarily. And so it's hard to get people to, to come and, 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 and watch you do this, to be a performer, to put, get people in the seats. And you may have a great song, but if you can't connect with the people, then they're not going to come see you. They're not going to come back. They're not going to be touched. Absolutely. And so that's, that's a trick for, for me and, and probably for every songwriter. It's a and, trick for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and you play a number of instruments, and you... Played as a side side person, so to speak. Yes. With a couple people who've been on the show here, yeah. uh, uh, Michael Bronze, uh, Bronze Michael um, uh, Ronstadt, and Craig Bickhart. Yeah, I just had the the thrill of playing with uh, Craig Bickhart. I was actually doing a a, a show with Michael Ronstadt and his brother uh, Petey, and uh, and Craig was part of that show, and he invited me to stay on stage, and that was a thrill. Um, yeah, it's it's been a real blessing. I, I've I picked up the dobro a few years ago, and uh, and I've played as a side man with a lot of people. I, I love uh, Sarah and the Arrows, uh, Mr. Fuzzy and the Barbarian, Michael Ronstadt. He's, he's an amazing musician and such a talent and such a sensitive player. It's been a, such a, a joy to to play with him as a, as a side man. And now, do you have a different? Do you have to get into a different mindset when you're playing as a side man as opposed to like today that you're. Mm -hmm. You're the main person. Yeah, it's 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 easier in one respect. I'm not the one carrying the load, uh, but on the other hand, I don't want to let that person down. And I do my I try to do my homework and learn the songs and try to come up with arrangements. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, 
I don't have a lot of time there. I'm not given a lot of time. I'm not told what songs I'm going to play. Mm -hmm. In the case of Chris, Craig Bickhart, I'd never heard that song before when we were playing it in front of a, <laughs> a, a church full of people, and it was amazing. <laughs> but uh, it was it was a challenge, but it was it was so thrilling and so fun. And uh, but I try to do my homework. It's different in that respect. Uh, I, I you know I do my homework on my own songs, of course, but it's uh, you know it's more. I feel more an obligation to not not smudge those other people you know i don't right. want to you know sure. make a make a bad noise that that's going to ruin their song so we're going to hear uh, some more of your your music and um before that i'm going to play a, a part of a video of our next guest uh, his name is ethan pierce i don't know if you know ethan he's he, a is he the one from um from falcon ridge that plays the no maybe not um he, he he's from philadelphia and um he actually works at Burlap and Bean, if you're familiar with Burlap yes, and Bean. Yes, sure, yeah. Um, but he's an excellent, I mean, he's got quite a voice and, and very good songs. He played at a, um, in fact, this is what the video is. He's played at a, a Spring Gulch this year. Oh, okay. In Ho New Holland. And this particular song is called Where is the Lake, which I suppose is appropriate for for um, uh, a camp, you know? Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's, again, his name is Ethan Pierce, and he's, Ethan will be my guest in about two weeks. And um, then we're going to come back and listen to some more of your songs. Thank you. Where is the lake? I feel safe on her shores. Now they're cold, no war. And now my heart is torn. This is a song called Easter Sunday, and it's about uh, loss and um, remembrance of uh, people that have gone. Sitting in the Mexican rain on a Pennsylvania doorstep With a car that's getting all wet On this Easter Sunday Reading a note that you wrote from a Nacapuco eatery Describing all the scenery Doesn't seem so far away And as the traffic passes by I can see your blue sky Old cars bouncing on these broken streets Turn into sailboats floating on the breeze And the bread baking on the Philadelphia air Smells like your flowing hair And your smiles on every face Watching little Paolo chasing his sister on her bicycle Gets me to feeling simpatico Thinking of when you were here Strolling down these littered sidewalks of my burial Wishing I could have carried you But it was not to be Without dark there is no light Without wrong there is no right Smoke and noise from this grim city theater Make the peace that come that much sweeter And all the new flowers remind me that it's spring I only heard the chorus sing 
on the day you passed away. Sitting in the Mexican rain on a Pennsylvania doorstep With a car that's getting all wet On this Easter Sunday All right. This next song I sing, I, I, I play Dobro with... Uh, oops, I should keep my picks on. Uh, play dobro with people and I get into bluegrass jams and then they play a lot of gospel songs and I love gospel songs but uh, I, they don't really speak to me so much uh, in terms of the lyrics so I wanted to write like a an agnostic gospel song and so uh, this is what I came up with it's called Faith <laughs> As I cross the yonder fields I see Folks walking in the church Sunday morning Then I went back to Berlin Hey, I had better things to do that day Than sitting in the back pews of yawning When I read some of these things I read Well, they make me turn and shake my head As if I needed more reason to doubt so when you tell me of the love that's given, it's offered by your true religion. I tell you, man, no thanks, I'll do without. All these kind folks who talk of prayer never got them anywhere. It seem like just a way to keep them down. Faith is just for all intents, belief in things that make no sense. But I guess I'll keep things quiet back in town. And hallucinations, delusional imaginations, visions on the road to somewhere else. Fairy tales unsustainable to explain the unexplainable and give some meaning to the meaningless. Well, I always try to live my life with care and tribute to what's right. Always try to treat all people nice. Sometimes I'm treated back in kind, sometimes some people. Pay no mind. It's up to them, got no need for thinking twice. All these kind folks who talk of prayer never got them anywhere. Seem like just a way to keep them down. Faith is just for all intents, belief in things that make no sense. But I guess it keeps things quiet back in town. This song uh, I wrote with Sarah Napolitan. She came up with the lyrics and I came up with the melody and the arrangement. Uh, it was in preparation for a trip to Cuba that we were doing uh, for a newspaper article. And it, um, 
the idea was to come up with something that we could play on the Malecon where, where Cuban musicians gather at night and uh, play it with them and it worked and we were very happy with the result. And here's the song that's called Best to Be Free. Everything here has all been here before The wind and the waves and the sea and the shore The songs that we sing are the notes that we hear The things that we want are the things that are near There's thunder and lightning inside of the stone And mountains and caverns you don't walk alone but shadows are turning back into the light And pinnacles diving down from a great height The bird wants the sky And the sky wants the rain And the rain wants to be ocean again Rocks into sand And sand into sea Again. Loved ones and lighters and misplaced red pants Money and couches and lovers through doors We'll come back to something we've not yet looked for The bird wants the sky And the sky wants the rain And the rain wants to be the ocean again Rocks in the sand So you the sweet ocean and you the soft sand Were once walking with me and holding my hand And the birds of the sea were once a dear friend Everything circles and changes and bends The bird wants the sky And the sky wants the rain And the rain wants to be ocean again Rocks in the sand That was a slide of some of the artists we're going to have in the next uh, couple months, uh, so join us. Um, I was reading uh, your regular Facebook page as opposed to your music Facebook page, and I noticed that, uh, a number of uh, political kind of comments, and I'm wondering, has that affected your songwriting? Do you write any um, topical topical music? Yeah, I was pretty upset about the last election. Uh, I couldn't just sit and and not not react. Uh, what I tried to do in that case was uh, I thought about it, and, I, and actually I was in Nashville. I had driven down to Nashville right around the election time. I came back. I stopped in this town called Clendenin, which is basically a coal mining town or former coal mining town in, Clen in West Virginia, and it had also been suffering a big flood. And I saw people in this town. We actually went there to try to get food, which turned out had been flooded out. It had there was nothing left in this town. Uh, there were some people wandering around that looked. Uh, they just looked to me like struggling, and they also looked to me like uh, people that might have voted for uh, Trump. And um, what I tried to do, I, you know, I, I was having trouble processing the whole election, and I tried to take it f uh, to try to um, understand how these people might have voted this way. And I wrote a song. 
was totally from their perspective. And uh, that was, was my goal, to try to just, you know, get some peace by understanding where they're coming from. You know, I don't think everybody that voted for him is a bad person or, a, you know, a racist or, any, or a misogynist or any of those things. I, you know, some people certainly are, but most of them are probably not. You know, Obama voters switched to Trump. You know, mm -hmm. how did sure. that happen? Um, so I, 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 those are the kinds of people that I was trying to understand. And, and so that's how I did it. I, I tried to take that and process that through, through a song. And I came up with a song, and you can look it up on YouTube. It's called Clint Denon. And uh, I have a slideshow that goes with it, and it, it, it kind of tells the story of that town. And uh, so that's how I address it. I don't, I, don't, I don't try to write songs that just preach at people. Uh, you know, I have nothing against that, but um, that's, that's not what I, I want to do. I don't want to hector people. Um, but, uh, you know, I do, uh, I do try to, you know, process it in my own mind. That was, a, that was one where I, I needed to express that. I don't know if it'll appeal to people. Mm -hmm. I, I don't play it a lot out. I haven't played it a lot out yet. Uh, so I don't know whether people react to it, but I do have a music video of it. Okay. Um, do you have any go uh, goals uh, f for your music that in the future that you'd like to share with us? We promise to be supportive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's certain venues uh, I'd love to play. Um, you know, Folk Fest would be a dream. Uh, uh, you know, Philadelphia Folk Fest. Uh, you know, I like to play at some of them, you know, better venues and listening rooms around uh, Steel City Cafe comes to mind, coffee house, I should say. Uh, and just to, I'd love to hear my song on the radio, you know, something that I, I, mostly what I get out of this is, is really when I play and, someone, and it touches somebody or I know that I've touched somebody, you know, I get that reaction during the song. That's, that's the fulfillment I get. Uh, you know, if somebody says, yeah, at a certain line that I know is meaningful and they get it, I know they got it. Uh, the other day I was uh, playing at a party and I, somebody in the audience was singing along with my song that I didn't really know them. I didn't mm -hmm. know how they would know the song, but it turned out they had, they had gotten a CD that my song was on mm -hmm. and, they, uh, and they actually had listened to it. And that was such a thrill to, to know. And, they, and, and actually at that same show, somebody had, uh, was, was planning to record that same song of their own or play it somewhere and they they sang along with me and that was very flattering so the idea of somebody performing my song michael ronson has actually talked about recording that one that uh i did with uh sarah okay and uh you know so that's just that's a thrill to to just to know that i've touched somebody and whether it's you know me uh getting uh you know uh, the, the the prime slot at uh folk fest or or someone else just being touched that's that's the, the reward for me okay Matthew, if people want to see where you're playing, want to learn more about you, want to uh, see your music, where would they do that? Oh, uh, yeah, I have a Facebook page, Matthew Gordon Music. They can look up if they're on Facebook. Uh, if not, I have a Reverb Nation page. It's uh, ReverbNation.com slash Matthew Gordon, all one word, and that'll keep you posted on where, I, uh, where I'm playing. Okay, Matthew Gordon, thank you very much for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. I uh, love your songs. Oh, thanks so much. And we'll be back in about two weeks with Ethan Pierce.